Nobody's ready. But you know what? We're here. Time to party. It's Tuesday. So it's time to tighten it up. B is in Philadelphia. Grace is behind me. I'm Chris Denman. Oh. We're going to flip shit and make it fly, people. B flat in Philadelphia with her flashbacks. Grace dancing it up for you. Thanks for tuning in. We do this every Tuesday. DIY comedy podcast. Your mother warned you about me. It's going to be a fun time tonight. B Casos in the house. We're staying above water here in St. Louis. Big Tuesday, B. She doesn't need music. Oh, Chris, the flash trying to shut me down. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to well, hear I'm... anything about that flash. Tell it to go away. Oh, and look, I'm lo- using my old flash rag. Shout out to Lorraine who got my new flash rag. Probably pimping it down in Houston now. Love it. Oh, I need my good flash rag back. Although this is a good flash rag, but you can't even hardly see the words on it anymore. You put it. You put it the through something. Rag. I put it through a whole bunch of things. I bet. Hey, Chris, how you doing in St. Louis, my flooded city? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm on no sleep, but uh, we're dry. (laughs) It was everybody. I want to thank everybody for that. Huh? In your building, it's dry. Shit. But are you? It's not flooded in your area, right? So that's kind of a, a jumbled que- or statement because like it was po- it was in pockets. So I don't know if you if you all heard or saw, but they called it a once in a thousand year rainfall, most ever rainfall ever in like a twelve hour or twenty four hour period in St. Louis. This is a little bit outside of St. Louis in a suburb called Brentwood, but the St. Louis metro area got crushed yeah. today. This is the highway five minutes from our studio, if that, not even. Um, so it was everywhere. It was like the entire metropolitan area, suburbs, city. Every, this is three minutes from our studio on, uh, on highway 40. So yeah, so we're okay. I got lucky. Uh, Ooh, this is at forest park parkway, uh, just outside yeah. of central West end. Yeah. yeah. I know exactly where that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I had every intention. I called my sister this morning. I didn't get a chance to talk Look to her, but I yeah. had every to call everybody in St. Louis today. Mm-hmm. Just to find out what's going on. So I do apologize. Plus, <clears throat> you hear my voice. Damn, Chris, I didn't know you were going to show all them pictures. Shit, this Check is it out. It's, it's, it's a feature. <laughs> it's a rainy feature. <laughs> a rainy day feature. Oh, my gosh. No, so it it was really weird because went to sleep. It's been like 100 plus here, like everywhere, right? And then go to sleep and um, yeah, it was like, I don't know, something was up and then you hear like the lightning start. It, my house shook. I have a brick place and I'm like right by a big park and everything. And the house was shaking. Dog was glued to my neck because she was scared. Oh. It was rough. And I, so I didn't sleep. And then my phone's going off every half an hour with those, you know, flash flood warning, storm warning, and then sirens every 20 minutes. It was insane. But I can't really complain about the no sleep because my life isn't underwater like a lot of people's were so yeah not not good but today like if you walked outside right now it's fine oh well wow so yeah so get that out of the way to the studio because you know i was gonna do a little video earlier and be like i don't even know if chris gonna make it in the day we're gonna have a show right well, i might have a show like right now live <laughs> on Instagram. But I was like, no, I'm so faithful, as Sherry says, walk in faith, yeah. that I'm like, I'm not worried. He's going to make it in and we're yeah, have a good show. Fortunate. Gonna- yeah, just some leaks in our building, but that's, you know, we're, we're all good. Well, to all of the people who are tuning in and watching our lovely Tighten Up Tuesday where we flip your shit and make it fly, I'd like to always give a shout out, starting up front, with my soror, Lauren, who provides this lovely music, all the dope music you hear throughout this podcast, provided by Sounds of Noel. And of course, I don't know where I would be without Daphne. And I do apologize. I forgot to upload the format sheet to Daphne. Chris, I'm just Daphne, all over the place. 
Daphne so is a, a lovely woman and she is great to you. So shout out to Daphne. Yeah. We need, I, we need to get we need I, to get Daphne uh, uh what's Daphne's Daphne Instagram? Daphne needs to be my Andre. I'm sorry? She needs to be my Andre. Daphne needs to pop up on the show and scroll through the screen, do a little something. How, how would she how act out how she would be if she was there and you're Andre right now? Oh, this would be Daphne on screen. First of all, you know she's so professional. And then she'd be like, no, B, hold up. Like, <laughs> remember when she checked me in the Zoom? She's like, we have that under control. Because I was reaching out in terms of like, you know, I don't understand like how you get tagged and what to do with it. And, and you just asking, you know, getting information in the briefing. And Daphne was all like, let me just let everybody know. B don't need no extra help, more or less. <laughs> we have it under control. I, we I can, we'll it. talk about it during the brief and bake recap, but I, I was proud of my analogy as I, as I, I left. Was brief and bake recap. That was the brief and bake. No, you have a photo and you have oh, more than that. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to, if you want to hit up, uh, Daphne, it's, uh, Osun, is it Osunlade? Osunlande. Osunlande. Oshulande. You've said it three different ways. It's Oshulande. Oshulande at thewordpriestess.com. Hook her up, hit her up. And if you want to mail anything to be fat, be flat, it's be flat LLC PO box. It's Oshulande. 20523 Philadelphia PA. Let's get get it. Thanks to Sounds of Noel. We had that. Uh, Jump right in, B. Go for it. Well, again, shout out to Daphne. If you need some great organization and believe it or not, an organizer needs somebody to help keep them organized. Reach out to Daphne. I got Chris. It's been a great weekend. I had two lovely shows. Great show here in Philadelphia. Shout out live comedy shows. Yes. And then in New York, I just shut it down. Oh, I had a wonderful time. I got a standing ovation and I sat down on the couch for the panel at the Karen Hunter show. And it was Caroline's. Oh, it was sold out, Chris. We moved three times. And I knew it because I've been to Caroline's a million times. And they let the comics sit out there. There's only one dressing room. So when I, Lamont was like, we're going to be out here. Because I had put my stuff in Karen's room. She wasn't mm-hmm. there. And he's like, no, this is Karen's room. I was like, cool. So I put my stuff out in the back corner. Then I saw her getting back. He's like, I got to move you out here. Then they moved us again. I was all like, damn, we're going to be standing up. I was in the bathroom getting dressed with my makeup on in the dark and shit. It was some women, because their bathroom was super dark. Yeah. And it was some women in there. And I said to them, I said, if I come on stage with my eyebrow crooked, y'all can vouch for me, right? <laughs> in this dark-ass bathroom. Right. And they were like, yes. So after all that, I went on stage, shut it down. I had a great time. It's such a good uh, time for you. Then I played two songs with the band. Because she had like a little band on the side, and they were playing yeah. with anime. So when I leaned back on the couch, I was all like, uh, can y'all play this and that? Can I jump in with you all? And the dude was like, oh, you're the one going to play the trumpet? Because Karen requested that I do it. And I said, yeah. So doing intermission while everybody was getting stuff. And it, you're just like getting drinks or whatever. It still was packed in there. It had to be like 500 people. They, I just got my trumpet and just started playing whatever they were warming up to. And then I played Booed Up by Ellie Mae. And then I did uh, Rebirth of Slick by Diggable Planets. So do we? Do you want to jump through photos of these right now, or we want to do that later? Oh yeah, we can. It's funny because I want to show uh, people that I never get a chance to take photos myself. They actually use my phone to use the music. So Larray took pictures, and she recorded my. Her son recorded it for me and sent it to me. Oh, that's, that's great. Me playing boot up, and then we have a photo. Fo- and then afterwards, the show was over at like six thirty, six forty-five. Yeah, it was an early show. Yeah, we got. Went to this little uh, restaurant like a block away and just had a great time. We were there like th- two and a half hours kicking it. So I was hanging out with Debbie and Lorraine. And Lorraine was in from Houston visiting her son. Oh. And she's the one who hit me up on the Too Funny Mama uh, comment and said, I want tickets to your show. I want to come see you. I'm Me and my son. And I was like, I got you. And so did Debbie. She's like, I want to come to your show. So I was like, Come, make sure you introduce yourself to me. And the funny thing is, I was sitting right where Lorraine was, and I didn't even see her. She heard my voice, and then she 
And then we just, start, and I knew exactly she who she was. And I got up, walked over there, hugged her, met her son, and we hung out. And we had a good time. And I was singing all, you name it. When, he, when the street performers start playing um, That's Me in the Corner by R.E.M., oh, I jumped up on my feet. I said, I got to go sing with him. So that's what I was singing right here. I did like four songs. And the owner, the guy in the orange shirt, he's like. Oh, he was he, the owner. I was going to say, is he a Picasso? No, John. He's he is now. He is now. He's like, he never lets anybody sing with him. My hair. He's like, he totally enjoyed you. I had the people rocking. Oh, that's we had great. a good time. You yeah, should so. have should, should, should have sent him an invoice for your entertainment skills. He kept saying, are you a professional? I yes, said, oh, I am. Oh, you have a great voice and a great singing voice. I was singing John. We were doing Journey, John Taylor. And this is in New, those those photos of, in New York. And then who do you know what the YouTube names are for the folks you're with? Um, well, I don't know the YouTube names. You Sometimes, mean like their, yeah, like their Instagram names? Uh no, YouTube. When they comment, throw that throw that photo back up, will you? Oh, that's Lorray Bonaparte and Devi Ramnam Ram. I can't say her last name right. Ramnarami, Ronnie, Ramnarani. She's probably in there, and she's gonna spell it out in the thing and say, "This is how you pronounce it." She's she's part of the but crew that makes us number one in Guyana. That's, that's my girl. She walked me to the car and um, to the parking lot. I was like, "You want me to drop you off at the train station?" She's like, "No, I'm good." Then she hit me up talking about B. As soon as I got on the train, somebody got stabbed in the car in front of me. But that's New York. I was like, girl, I know. I've been on the train. Somebody got stabbed. You just oh jump off and move to the next car. <laughs> but she made it home safely. That's, it's the world we live in. But yeah. that don't stop our show. I so I'm glad she made home safely. Thank you for coming out. It took her two hours to get there on the train. B, so that's I, fantastic. I, like that's Is that something you... Photos, you do. You look out for your Picassos, and they look out for you. Can we play that video, and then I'm moving on? Uh, <laughs> tight show tonight. Hey, yo. Remix. Remix. So we don't get Oh, go Grace with the remix. <laughs> well, that's great what's the restaurant shit um i can't think of the name of it it's so i hope somebody says it in the comments something back it has something to do with like a play bill. i think it's called playwright or play hmm. like this guy oh we was having a good time this guy's a picasso for life yeah we at 49th and Broadway. We had such a great time. That's awesome. Uh, we kicked it. That's how I kicked it with my. I kicked it with Lynn and Bree when they came to my shows. You know, I kicked with my Picasso's after Mark and Quincy. Love it, Mark Shonda, and Quincy. Kinda in Texas. <coughs> I kicked it. <clears throat> you know it. That's how I do. You come to my show, you holler at me. We gonna kick it. So, there you have it. Shout out to Lorraine, her son Zuri. She made it back to Houston safely. And Debbie. Yep. We had it. We had a great time. Shout out to Drunken Fruit. Chris, they gave me this. I got to give him a shout out because I'm killing these pineapples that are aged in their, their own. Where, was alcohol. this a store? They were uh, like a vendor at the show. And they actually gave Debbie and, you know, everybody with me a smaller little pack, but it was cute, like a little sample, but they gave me this and I'm eating them now and they're pineapples and they are good. I should have put awesome. some in my uh, refresher because you know I'm drinking that. You know I'm drinking my pride. What are you drinking? Berry, the pride berry refresher with all the oh, fruit in it. Oh, of course. Yeah. So I'm going to throw a couple of these alcoholic pineapples in there like that. I love and all then, the sober drinks that get sent in that... Uh that make it into the booze category with you. I would, I would do the same thing to be fair. So, uh, let me see. I got, I got a couple more shout outs. I want to make sure I, uh, give a shout out to our Picasso t-shirt wearers. I got my shot glass ready. For by the way, Debbie goes yeah. by GT Devika 23. 
GT Davika. Okay. And I think Larray is like Larray underscore Bonaparte. Shout out to Larray underscore Bonaparte. Sorry, go ahead, baby. Shout out to Kiki with her shirt on. Please make sure you get Kiki's shirt. We've got two more weeks just about on Kiki's shirt. So I want to see more people in that shirt, including myself. So yes, I will be wearing mine next week and update on the shirts. I'm almost positive next week we will be having our tanks and the smokers shirt and they will be available and ready to go. I just need to tighten up some things with John. We're a little behind on schedule, but we moving. Y'all know how the little train is inching along. So make sure you get Kiki's shirt. I want to see more people in them. And remember, I will be inviting you to the brief and bakes. Please go to buyjack.com, get the Picasso shirts designed by our Picasso. She was wearing her own design. She just looks so meek and cute. Oh, and that's my hubby with his shirt on. Go, Dennis. I I say, you. How much did you pay for this male model to put your shirt on? Look at Dennis. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> my bug got the shirt on. <laughs> Looks great. Yes, he's repping. And that's a large. And he's like a 42-inch chest in case guys are wondering, like, what size does he have on? But, you know, he got the pecs and the abs. He's pretty slim and fit. So, But mm -hmm. he don't like tight stuff. Those. So that's a large on him. And then, of course, you know, Jamie with her glamour shot. Now, this needs to be. Look at Jamie. For <laughs> someone with so much hate in the comments, she looks so lovely. That's so fly. Yes. It's so natural. She just looks so amazing, like natural beauty and just flowing. I like that. I like That's how great. she just. I need to learn how to do selfies like that. She got it down for that. I don't even know I do a selfie right. I'd be looking at the wrong shit. So, shout out to Jamie with her Picasso shirt. Looking on. good. Make sure you take photos when you get your shirts, your flash rags, and send them to me at frugalflip.com. I want to see more. I have a lot to post. Uh, everybody on the Zoom got to see my long list. So did we throw that up, Chris, the Zoom picture? No, we haven't. Yeah, Check that's it what out. we You daffed me for the screenshot from the Zoom, which was two hours and almost 45 minutes. We had a good time. Chris had to log off and go to the meeting. He had to make Daffy the administrator. I was on for an hour and a half, and I was like, yeah. I have a late meeting that I have to go to, and Daffy oh, took over. We were kicking it. So shout out to everybody that was on the Zoom. Everybody was so great. They were, yeah, was they were so, so nice. It was the bomb. So I'm so glad uh, Daphne was able to grab that. And uh, we were only supposed to do an hour. Who this would have ever like, thought B would have went would have So the next one is August the 4th. And let me just say quickly that I have not heard from. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how it is. <laughs> yes. Because we have the next one coming up for my group two of the day oneers. And I haven't heard from Brenda Robbins, Christopher Wafer, Doc Shu, or Renee Bowman. So if I don't hear from them, you know I got four backups. I got Devi, I got Karen Nisby, Gabrielle Turner, and Brenda Miller on backup. So I'm about to send that Zoom link out for next Thursday at 8 p.m. And hopefully we won't be on. I ain't going to say, I ain't going to say, hopefully we won't be on for two hours and 45 minutes. I, I'm sure we'll have a good time and it'll probably go long. Chris, bear with us. Uh, <laughs> I want to say B was getting a little loose with her interpretations of what she understands, what she doesn't. And uh, the way I described it as Daphne and I, our mouths were like hitting the floor, like every five minutes when B would uh, expound upon something that I didn't necessarily feel was completely accurate. Uh, I described it as if a parent that takes like really good care of their kids, they've got nice clothes, nice food, they get to go to wherever they want. And then the kid like walks up and tells a stranger, sometimes my parents make me eat dog food and then just walks away. And you're like, what? Yeah. That's not true. And then the parent, the stranger all looking at the parents like, mm. that that's how bad. it felt. That's how it felt. Like, she's like, I don't know how to post to Instagram. I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, no, I don't know how to do stuff with tags. And still oh, it's eat. incredible. Oh, uh, I still don't know how to do it. And just because people do it and do it for me, sometimes I like to understand how things are done and where it was they really go. really funny. 
So that's what the briefings are for. And yeah, it, I think about the guys, Chris. Everybody I was learned awesome. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> who was it? I Phyllis? Phyllis had a bunch of good questions. And Kathy was sipping on a drink that sounded good. I'm I'm not gonna shout out everybody, but everybody was super nice, and it was and it was just uh, as as someone who was quiet for most of it and just kind of hung out. It was really cool to see you and all those lovely people. So shout out to you, B. Thank you, Chris, and thank you for hosting it. I really and I you know of course shout out to Daphne for jumping in and being the administrator and doing what she does. That's why I love her. Okay, so I think I'm done with my shout outs. Um, of course, now it's time for me to re read Maya's card. Let me throw my glasses on. You know, I gotta always give a shout out to the guiding light guru, Maya Bean. <clears throat> and today's card says, look for miracles. Big and small things are happening for you. Don't ignore them. Sometimes we don't notice them until they occur. Connect the dots, find the patterns and open your eyes and you'll see miracles. I believe in that. I do I too. Really take these affirmations and really apply them. Especially now that I have this show, which makes me really stay super organized and on point. It's like a job. I honestly feel like I have a job. Like a nine to five. Then it's like, I know you're working on Titan up Tuesday. Mm -hmm. like, well, you oh, do. Like it takes so much work. Wednesday? Oh I'm working gosh. for a in the middle Wednesday. Hey. I, I know you spoke about miracles with the Guiding Light Guru, um, and I know you also are a really big fan of improv, but uh, I know everybody loves a certain somebody, and she happens to be out traveling, and uh, I thought she'd say hello, so we're going to drop in a little miracle for you. A uh, special guest on Tighten Up Tuesday. Jump on in. Special, it's Key. Key's in hi. Pennsylvania. I wanted her to say hi to you. She hasn't been on. I just wanted her to say hi to you. Hi, Key. Yeah. Hi. That's my protege. Where are you at? What's up? Girl, I'm in Pennsylvania with my friend. Girl. I'm in the, I had to take you, a break. Are you in huh? Philly? Are you in Philly? I'm in uh Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. I mean where in Yeah, Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. Oh girl, you ain't mm -hmm. nowhere near me. At all. That's like at all. Man City. On the other side, on the other coast. <laughs> The other border. Using my my artist friends. Look at all this art. They <laughs> do at a that. lot of art made out I'm of recyclables. Oh, that's appropriate Pocket. for the show. Wait, wait, if hold up. Somebody hold up. needs to be featured on the show. Look looks like it. Look at this. They made this. That's right. Out of this all recyclable. What is it? Plastic. Oh, that is single use plastic. They made all of this. Look at so, this. King, it sounds like we have a feature. I think you guys do have a feature. Yes, we have to schedule that. I would love that. And see if they would like to feature on the show because it looks like yes, they would. Some. Yes, they and I would. would. Love to see how they're doing that with the recyclables. It's oh. amazing. Like, look at this. They've made all of this. They've been featured in so many articles, galleries, and everything. Like, it's great. Oh, De so. Daphne I wants to see your friend, Key. I'm a little bit my friend. I don't know. They're shy. Oh, I I'm think uh, I, I'm in the, I'm their PR for this, for this, uh, well, King, if they're shy, would they want to be on the show. I think they do want to be on the show. You know, they're not appropriate you. right now. Well, they ain't got to be appropriate right now, but I would look at that. Yes. I would. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. I think that's yeah. code for their, like they're high out of their gourd. Their but, yes. Well, right yes, there. They're talking about my little project that I made. With the little sticks, <laughs> they high. I ain't mad. They on edibles. Uh, beyond that, but yeah, we can say that. We can say that for the show. I was gonna say keys. Keys like a behind the scenes person who dances occasionally. This is the most uh, camera front I've ever seen her want to be. And look, Key, don't show, be yeah. like Chris know what you're doing all off camera in Pittsburgh. Because next thing you know, your ass be fired, and they be talking Guess about what? You know, fired for what they do. I know what she's going to say. Chris can't fire me because I'm his boss and I tell him oh, what to do. Right. He cannot fire oh, me. <laughs> I tell I him what to do. I forgot. I'm talking to the wrong person. I'm talking to protege. Comments are loving it. Comments are loving this. Don't work. She probably orchestrated everybody moving shit in. And that yes, don't I go there. 
I know you did, Keith, and I don't like I that there. Remove that over there. And Chris, he doesn't got that look, there. I stopped I stopped telling him what to do. I was like, you need to pay me for this design, okay? You need to pay me for this now. I can't make you look good all the time. You need to pay me for it. She's Be a now. star. Be now. Be hey, Grace. I Can think Grace get on to just say hi to the people? I miss I, her. I think she danced earlier, but I'm sure she could jump over here. Grace, you dance without me? How dare you? We're we're a team. <laughs> this is what, this oh, is what happens. <laughs> no, because I got cash app dances to do. Plenty of them. Well, we'll so jump I might into it. Shout out. Let's Grace, can we do a cash app dance? She can't can hear you, but Grace, dance? yeah, she's going to do a cash app dance. Uh, B, do you want to do you a... you ready for a cash app dance? I'm getting ready to. Let's rolling. Misha, Laura, to Michael, Cheryl. Let's get it. Grace, Arlette. Grace, hit the music. Oh, yeah. Hold up. We can Let's absolutely do a cash app dance. We can get it. Let's set this up. Okay, we can do a okay. cash app dance. Okay. Cassie, I'm ready, Grace. I'm ready. Arletta, Cheryl, to Michael, <laughs> Ellen, to Misha, and Laura. This is incredible. What a oh, day. This is how Grace would be dancing. Oh. Did it be? Did it be? Look at B. Did Those it be? knees are feeling Did good tonight. My knee is not feeling good, but okay. <laughs> Key, Grace, and B uh, saying thanks for the cash apps, people. I Somebody's got to do the Jane Pittman. Even though I'll look away, somebody's got to. Oh, you ain't ready for the strong woman dance. <laughs> He's not. He's not. He's not ready for that. Uh-oh. 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 Mm. Anybody make your turn? Oh. Everywhere. Jam. Island. If you want to contribute, it's dollar sign B flat. Oh, what a life. What a tighten up Tuesday miracle. I think I'll, Key should I'll, I think Key should sit in as co host from now on. I should sometime. I'm gonna kidding. put their link to their website. If anyone is interested in learning more about their art and everything, but B, I definitely have to get them on your show. Please they are I amazing. You would I love that. I can already see. Especially on my little show. I, love it. I would be honored. Thank you, Key. Enjoy Pittsburgh. Bye, Key. Bye. Be sure to be sure to watch the ads, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Key. Thank that's you. That's how you, I get paid. That's, that's how I get paid. That's why oh, you get an invite call. back. Thank you. Please watch the ads. No, don't even Bye. watch them. Just let them play. Bye, Key. Play. Let Bye, them play. Key. Else. Do like I do. Just go in, open up the episodes, let the ads play, watch it for like five minutes, and go to the next episode. Let the ads play. I be doing shit right here at my desk. I'm getting my own money. Ain't nobody else cash at me. I be just letting the ads play. I still ain't watch the shows. Let the ads play. Click to the next one. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> B, I hope you enjoyed that surprise. It was what a pleasure to see I that. Uh, I appreciate that. That lovely yeah. young woman. And she got out of St. Louis right in time. Right. The floor. Yes. Yeah. She must have known something. B, I'm sorry. I got to add a shout oh. out, a little comment there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love B, today. Grace, and Key, Picasso baddies from HR. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Man, we need to have you talk more, Grace. I don't, I just take the night off. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay on. We Everybody's got a voice all of a sudden. I love it. This is great. Because I don't. Yeah, but it gives we're lacking. Me. So they're stepping in. Yeah, I don't have to do, I really got to preserve my voice because, you know, I got the Frankie Beverly show. And then the next day, yeah. Martha, so I literally have like six shows in seven days. And it's going to uh, put a lot of stress on my voice, but I'm going to cut down all the extra antics and I'm going to work it out because I know what I got to do. People want to see me, you know, each night <clears throat> ready to go. I can't be yeah. up there tomorrow. Oh, yeah, bear with me. Wow. Trying to get myself together. This next exactly. one. This, this next one's an act out. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm tight show. Out. Tight show. And the spoon. <laughs> Let me grab my glasses so that I can read my Did You Know, my D Y K, which is dedicated. Oh, I got to give an extra shout out to my boy Willie Lee Morrow, born October 9th, 1939, June 22. 2022 rest in peace his brother invented the afro pick patent the fist on it and the jerry curl 
So if anybody ever want to know where the Jerry Curl came about, it was invented in San Diego. Willie Lee Morrow was an American barber, businessman, and inventor who worked in the African-American hair care industry. He was noted for inventing the Afro pick and developing the forerunner to the Jerry Curl hairstyle. Morrow started his first hair salon in San Diego in 1959. He later founded the California Curl Company, which was noted for developing and commercializing the Afro pick, also known as the Afro Tease or the Ease Tease. It, all, it also developed the California Curl Treatment, the precursor to the Jerry Curl. So, oh, there you go with the Jerry Curl. That's he a tough Obviously, he didn't have one in that photo. He didn't put his own in yet. But, uh, uh, Chris, you got the S curl. Is that what I'm working with today? I need a yeah. haircut so bad, and it's uh, it's jumped up. But I, I think it looks a little nicer than it did last week with that middle part madness. So. The S curl came after the Jerry curl. It used to be in a box, and it's a texturizer guys put in their hair and give them a little bit of curl, but not the it. green. Coming to it. America, Jerry curl. <laughs> Just so All right. So look, I'm going to go ahead and jump in really quick. I want to show people right quick what I'm doing with Miss Mirna's project and how difficult it is. It, it's a it's a big one. I ain't never doing no shit like this again. I ain't building no more benches. But I forgot to show these photos from the start. And then I'm jumping right into my BIY feature, which nice. is the packing. You know, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to run through these really quick just to give people an update. Beverly Vaughn donated for me to do Mrs. Mirna's bitch. So Aww. I'm going to show you my inspiration <clears throat> really quick, which was a photo that I found on Pinterest. Nice. And then this, the next one is a drawing. And what I'm going to do is where the openings and the cinder blocks are, I'm going to put the wood, leftover pieces of the wood once I cut it in those spaces so it won't be open and I'm going to paint them green. And I'm going to uh, just leave the wood the natural color that it is and just sh uh, put like some Thompson's water seal on it. But the back slats, I'm going to paint one of them green. Nice. Just so she can have a pop of color. So the next photo shows her front yard and where I'm putting it. And she got her trash can upside down because that's how she feeds the cats. Why they got to jump up there and eat the food on top of the trash can? I don't know why the plate just can't be on the ground. But she feeds them there. <laughs> so I'm going to figure out what to do with that. Because that's what bitch. <laughs> maybe that, I don't know. I think, I was going to say maybe it keeps bugs immediately off it or something. You know, I was like, a possum could get up there though. I don't know. Maybe she's just being polite. I don't know. So next week, I'm going to show everybody how I got some of the cinder blocks hid up under them bushes that you saw before I put, that's why I didn't want to do her weeds again yet. So I got some swatches and just laid them out on her <clears throat> ledge so I can kind of match up some colors. The next photo shows, it's just four photos, shows when I was in Home Depot stacking up block, cinder blocks, just trying to figure out the patterns, measuring the space between each, um, you know, in the blocks, because that'll mm -hmm. determine how far the slats are going to sit apart. You don't want your booty crack sliding down, you know, in the <laughs> booty Of course slot. not. So, yeah, I was just there, like, stacking them up, taking pictures, trying to figure out how many I would need and, you know, that whole thing. So the next photo shows um, that's the actual pattern that I'm using, which is actually two single blocks. And then I have a – that was too big and heavy for the um, planter. And it didn't, so I came up with a different solution, which I will definitely show next week. So, because this project hopefully will be done. And I thought I was going to have to get some wood Did I? so that I wouldn't have the cracks, but I didn't have to get it because I came up with a solution. And I'm going to show people really quick on the screen after Grace takes that photo down. Uh, so, yeah, I was like, I may have to get it up. I, I threw it up there, but I don't want to get it yet. But I have to put two of these together to go in one of the uh, cinder block holes because these are only two and a half inches thick. And each of the cinder block openings are like five and a half to six and a half inches. So I want to make sure I'm going to have to glue these together and then put them in and cut them down to 40 right. inches. I want her bench to be 40 inches. These are actually 48 inches, but I don't want it to be this wide. 
I'm going to keep it small. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I have to get make sure these are sturdy. And I have to seal it. And I'm going to seal the holes with that stuff it. The stuff called great stuff that you get in a can. So that that's why I'm going to cover up the um, little holes so that you don't see the insulation on the inside. Because I don't want these slats moving around. Yeah. So even when I glue them down with the cement locket stuff, I still want them. I bought the locket um, sealer just to make sure these don't ever move around. And that will always be there and it will be water sealed and I'll be done with it. Mm. So there you have it, Chris. That was Miss Mamma's project. So I had to explain to a couple people why it's hard for me. I only can get like two or three blocks in the wheelbarrow and it's really heavy to carry on. I got to carry because I'm coming down Philly sidewalks, alleys and shit. So if you look at this photo, you're looking at the corner house and there's like where that black truck is. That's the space. That's like an alley. So if you lived in the middle of this block that has 13 houses on it and you have yep. to get trash out, you have to come out your back, come up the alley, come past this black truck, then go down into front of your house and put your trash can out. So the next photo just shows what an average block looks like in Philly. That block right there got 36 houses on one side. So that's like my block and I live in the, in the middle of a block like that. So when I get the wheelbarrow in the back, I got to come out the back. Come all the way up the alley, turn the corner, then come down the front. And the sidewalk and the alley and shit in the back is raggedy. So the wheelbarrow's all bumpy and the shit is uneven yeah. until I get onto our sidewalk up, coming up the front. And I was like, it's hot and this shit is tiring. And I've got 14, 20 things to move. 20 blocks. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm almost. And you know I was doing it in the heat. And everybody's like, why you don't get Dennis to help you? I got to do shit on my schedule. I can't do it on other body, everybody else's schedule. And Dennis be at work. So I have to do things when I can get them done. And I was like, it's hot. Ain't nobody here to help me. People at work. But they got to get over there under Miss Mirna's bushes. And I went to check on them today. Ain't nobody told none. Yeah. They still there. So mm. there we have it. All right, Chris. Love I'm it. Jumping right on in. Because this flash should make you jump on in. Is that what it'll do? Yes. This is the first, I'm sorry, this is the second segment of my packing demonstration. And because my husband is a senseless genius and I love him to death, he suggested that I pack the suitcase. And unpack, unpack it. it. What yeah. people are looking at is all the stuff that I laid out on my couch, which is my ladies layer over here on the other side. That And that's normally what I would take in terms of a week Work the packing. So that's five show outfits, uh, six pairs of shoes. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. You'll see when I bring it all out this suitcase and how I pack and use everything. So what I would like to do now is just move my little portable demonstration table. I forgot I had this shit because I haven't taken it with me anywhere. I normally take it with me. My when Mobita travels with me, she props up my stuff that I do for like the homeless people and my merchandise on here. Cause you know, I have little bitty shit like trinkets and keychains and things that I can take in my purse. I don't be carrying a whole bunch of shit around. So anyway, I'm going to use this table and show everybody how I pack for a week. And also remember some of the things that are in my suitcase still have to go into this bag, which is my tote that's packed for like a two, three day over the night. I mean, overnight type of thing that I just carry on. All my shit is in it. All right, so what you're looking at is my suitcase. I don't, I've never had a suitcase bigger than this. This is just like a regular carry on that fits in the overhead compartment. I don't even travel with anything that I can't carry or I have to ask somebody to help me lift up. So before I start packing, like I showed you last week, I always make a list of the things that I need. So last week's list was the list of the toiletries, and y'all saw that. So this week I had to pack my clothing. So what I do, I always check the weather first to make sure I have things that are appropriate for the weather. If it's going to rain, I might need an umbrella or I might take a baseball cap or something like that. And then I kind of write out what it is I plan to do. If I'm going to go out in the daytime and maybe do something or if I'm just going to stay in my room and eat and 
if I have to have an outfit for stuff like that. So I write down those activities and then I just make a list of all the stuff that I need. So on this list, it says five show outfits, pajamas, sneakers, undergarments, some workout clothing, active wear, five shoes for the stage, lounge wear, an airplane outfit, a train outfit, some socks. If I list that. So now I'm going to show you what's in this suitcase and I'm going to unpack it so you can see how I get all of this stuff in here. All right. Look at that. that that's like, <laughs> that's so, incredible. I encourage people to keep, um, like when you get shoes or garments and they come in like the nice little bags, you get bags like this. I keep them to put my shoes in and separate the clothes from the shoes. You know, these kind of bags. So I just tell people to keep this kind of stuff. So I keep them all in here folded up. Nice. Stuff over here. So as I unpack, I'm going to toss it over there. So I'm going to start with the clothing. because, And then I'll show the accessories over here. So what I have on top is. So things that I can't um fold up this is like a corset top if you look at this this is like a corset top and i don't want the corset to get messed up or bent so this will be like the last thing that i put on top because i know i can lay it flat and i don't have to really worry about it getting messed up so i'll so i'll put that in there my big things that i know that are kind of bulky i either wear them or put them on top so if I'm on the plane, say I'm leaving, this is like Martha's Vineyard stuff. I yeah. would have on a pair of jeans because they're like the bulkiest and my sneakers. And then maybe I would wear this jacket if I'm cold on the plane. So I always take a jacket. So as you can see, I have a jacket because I'm always freezing on the plane. Blanket. And you should have my blanket rolled up. I bought this Delta blanket years ago because I'm a Delta. So, you know, I'll be rocking it on all the airlines. I wish somebody would say something to me about my Delta blanket on American. Hilarious. B, right. B Parker says, where did B get the suitcase? What's the size? Okay, actually, I'm going to measure because I don't know the size. And I got the suitcase at Ross for $26. And that's where I get all my suitcases at Cheap Spots because they get dinged up. This is probably like my 10th suitcase. Cause they get thrown around i'm throwing them up in the compartments they get scratched up so i'm not spending a whole bunch of money people be buying louis vuitton's luggage and shit like that i'm not doing all that and plus that's the kind that gets stolen so this is 21 by 21 inches by 14 inches wide and i'm gonna say without these clothes in here it's probably about 10 inches deep okay so and it's standard, definitely fits in an overhead. All right, let me keep it pushing. So I have pants, pants, a jumpsuit to wear. So this is day one. This is how I do it. Another jumpsuit, day two. Pair of shorts, in case I want to kick around in the daytime. Pants for the stage, pants for the stage, pants for the stage. Some workout pants and a t-shirt. And then I put this in here as a separator so that I can uh, keep, I keep, now the stuff that I stuff inside my shoes might be like this. These are my pajamas because I don't want my shoes to get my show clothes dirty. So that's why I lay that layer between it. So I'm going to pull this stuff out of here. And as you can see, I'm going to tilt this up. How I have every space in here packed. And this is three pair of shoes here. And it's two pair over here. So let me just show you how I got it. So this is my pajamas. I ball and tuck everything. Inside this pair of shoes, I have a coverall for my swimsuit. So as you see, I just took that right out that pair of shoes, just like that, throw it down on the floor. Pair of pants. I'm gonna lift another pair. I took three pair of workout gear, some black ones, 
these pants, and these pants, and three t-shirts that are in here. So my flash, here's the other t-shirt, which is inside this shoe, and a shirt inside of this shoe for the stage. Then I have flash rags. Of course, you know I got to go everywhere with my flash rags. So then I have this pair of heels, and inside that heels, I have a shirt. Black shirt for the stage. Now my master is it our mistress at packing. So <laughs> you did. Yeah. <laughs> and there's that shoe. Inside this shoe, I have a t-shirt. Definitely something that, you know, in case I want to work out, hang out, wear in the daytime, flash ray. And that flash ray, if you look, was tucked in between the space in between these shoes. Okay. And underneath these shoes, as you can see, I have these jeans just came out of this space. Right. This triangle space. So I make sure I fit that in there just like that. Underneath there are three belts. That's why I tell people to hold on to the rubber bands you get from the post office because they come in handy. So I just wrapped up three belts. <laughs> pair of little booty shorts. Y'all see me in case I'm going to rock around in the daytime. And inside this shoe, I have socks, two pair of socks, and a workout bra. Voila. And inside this one, I have another workout bra. So you just saw how I got all that stuff. Y'all see it coming out this one little space. It's not that deep. Pay attention to where you're, what you're doing. You can really focus in and get your shit in there. People pack at the last minute. I don't pack at the last minute. It really, it'll behoove you to not do it at the last minute. Just... Take your time. You know where you've been going. People don't plan trips out for a year, and then they wait two days to pack before they go. Right. Putting your shit aside and saying, I want to take this and that. I always do that. I've got stuff put aside for Barbados. That's in December. Like end of November, December. Because I don't want to be running around at the last minute saying, oh, what I'm going to wear? I need a swimsuit. I need it. But people plan trips, you need to plan to pack. Especially if you want to save money, you don't want all your nice shit lost, you can get it on the plane with you. So on this side, let me just show you this side that it's opened up, is all the accessories. So you see I put these flip-flops inside this little bag. They dirty. I ain't washing them. I'm taking them right with me to, you know, flip around the hotel somewhere. And then I have my uh, bag, which has my little carry uh, around cap for drying your hair. I forgot what we called it last week, but the little hair dryer extension yeah. and a pair of scrubby gloves. I love to exfoliate. I'm going to throw this stuff on this side. And then I take a couple of these extra bags empty. This one is, I like it because it's plastic. So if I have wet clothing or something dirty, I want to bring back in. I don't even know where this came from. I think it was oh from a comforter. This is like from a, a comforter set. I'll put wet clothes or dirty things in it. So that's why I take a couple of empty ones like this. Then you see I have my sunglasses. And remember on the inside I have two pair. Readers, shade readers. Let me put the things over here I need to put into the other bag. Jewelry bag. This was my bag with um, little stuff in it like tea, a facial mask, some nail stuff, my um, day cloth. Facial I try to keep everything in one spot. Curling irons. And remember, it's a comb and a brush, two curling irons, some hair wraps, all that stuff inside my little curling iron pack. Daphne asks, where did the flip-flop bag come from? Um, It came with something that I got from Birchbox. I don't remember what was in it, but I was like, ooh, I like this bag. So I kept it. <laughs> so Monica, kept Wilds, it. Monica Wilds wants to know if you use packing cubes. I don't know what packing cubes are. So I would say it's a no. Nope, I don't use them. Okay, so I also have on this side, and let me just let you see the shoes. Another pair of shoes. These little shoes here. And I have a pair of flats. In case my feet are hurting by the end of the 
we got to wear some flats on stage. I also have my swimsuit. Like, I'm taking a whole, like a cute little whole piece swimsuit. I ain't jumping. It's too chilly at night in Martha's Vineyard for uh, bikinis. Reading glasses. I have all my bras and underwear, everything turned upside down and stacked inside of a baseball cap. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. And that's an easy way B. to kind of like tuck your stuff. Absolutely. So I, yeah, and you don't have to worry about, so there's like a bra thong, bra thong inside of uh, each one of these. And then like a little half, one of those little last, and I just do that just like that. We've got a, we've got some clarity. Yes. Uh, Louner Quincy, uh, Louner Quincy is talking about, okay. Joy says vacuum seal bags is what they were talking about. Put stuff in and suck all the air out. Yeah, I remember that. And then. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that's what they're called. I don't use those because I don't, I know how to use all my space. I know that's just like extra. I don't know. For me, that's good for storage. Maybe like if you really need to store some things for a while, but who wants to be doing all that to go? I don't just look at it like that's a lot of work just to pack some stuff when you yeah. can just like this and then sure. you got all the bags left over. Then don't you got to carry that shit around with you when you to do it again when you leave? Like when you're like, don't you have to take that machine or that apparatus with you, I would think. Mm -hmm. So like when you have to leave your place, you know, you got to suck all the air out again. I only got to do all that shit. I know how to pack. I've been doing this for years. And if you're watching this, then you're going to learn something new. And you're not going to need to spend no money. And this is a week's worth of stuff. Makeup and makeup brushes. If you remember, I, And then, like, if I need to move some stuff around, I can throw this inside of there and still have some space. So I'm all about utilizing all your space. And, you, and then I have four purses in here. I always carry, I'm not a big, I don't carry big bags unless I'm traveling. That's just like my travel bag, but on stage, I just keep it down to my phone, my material, you know, a lipstick and maybe like a perfume. And no, I, I typically like bring five or six purses. What, what would you do? <laughs> so as you can see, I got. All <laughs> she just stuff. moved right along. I did. <laughs> you be trying to throw me off my element and shit. I be thinking you want to be the comedian on the show. You you the Andre when I be doing my demonstrations and it's so oh, funny. That'll that'll be enough of that. My, like my dad said, everybody want to be a comedian. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna give Andre key, I'm gonna give Andre's keys I'm gonna give Andre keys login and let him finish up the show with you. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you, Chris. Okay, so look now I'm gonna take this off of here and let everybody see the tote if you're going away for a couple days and what's in there, how you get all that stuff plus a few more things that I have to throw in there. Because I want people to see that the bonus is my tech you know, the tech stuff that I have to take with me. The iPad, the phone, and all that little stuff and the cords. All of that stuff I either have in that bag or in a purse. So when I'm traveling we just saw, I normally just have a carry-on, something like this, and my suitcase. And that's it. Because this fits right in here like that. Mm. All the stuff that you might need when you go on the plane. You, you know, my I keep my wallet back here, and then I just take my suitcase, and I have my phone out. I'll be ready to go, Chris. This is how you travel. With my sneaks on, I keep it moving. And I love this suitcase. It's Nautica. Because it turns, I can sit on it. Oh, I'll be sitting on my suitcase when there ain't no space. Uh, sit right on top of the blanket. And it, it pushes really easy. I just love it. And it was on $26 at Ross. So Nice. Great work. That. I roll. And I roll like this for a week. And when people see my suit, they be like, how you get all that shit? And I'm like, don't worry about it, but I'm ready. And those people, <laughs> a whole bunch of luggage. So a lot of the guys are like, is that all you have? I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. And then they wait on the guys, and the guys be coming with like two big suitcases and all this other stuff. And I just have all my shit right there, ready to go, as you can see. So now if I'm going away, 
Now, if I were just going to the Frankie Beverly uh, show in Arkansas just for those three days, believe me, this is all that I would take right here because it literally has almost everything in it that I need except for this and uh, this and maybe two purses. I wouldn't be taking no swimsuit. And, well, that stuff that's in there, that's in that bag. Oh, yeah, I would need that. Let me still grab it out. Maybe some reading glasses. Everybody's loving these, by the way. Launer's giving you a big thank you. <laughs> HR's loving it. M. Gabrielle Smith Tobin, great tips be. Missy Shoe yeah. is enjoying it. I appreciate it. All right, so. If I were going away and I was just going for two or three days, this is the only bag that I would have. And as I showed you last week, this kind of serves as my purse and my carry-on. And I love this because it has a, it's a seriously old bag from Wilson's Leather. I know it's more than 20 years old. But I've had this forever, and I just love it because it's... It has a great padding here, and I have a bad, y'all know I got a bad arm, bad leg, bad every damn thing. But this kind of just balances it out. And sometimes I even carry this shit just like this, and I roll it. Just like this. And I love it because I like to keep it moving. I'm super impatient when it comes to traveling. And that's one thing I can tell you. So let me just show you these few things that have to go in this bag and what's in here. So first of all, this is detachable, so this is what I would normally clip on my jeans and carry as my purse. So I'm just going to take one of these off, just so you can see that. So in this, I normally load up the things that I need. I love, remember I got a new travel Bible, I love it. I always have to take this with me everywhere I go. But I, Travel, these are the travel Bible? Yes. What do you, got, what's your favorite read, uh, Bible verse? I don't have a favorite Bible verse. I'm not one to quote the Bible. Don't even get me for lying. But I read the Bible. So I know yeah. Bible verses. Yeah. Don't I was trying to mess with you. Oh, shit. Don't get me. Don't be trying to get me to lie on Lord Chris. I wanted you to. I wanted you to give that. What was the most. The, the, of, of all the dumb things the guy said. Uh, Trump goes. They were like, what's your favorite Bible verse? He goes, that's very private. Very, oh. very, very, very <laughs> private, very close to my heart, private. Oh, like, you've oh, never oh, read oh. that damn thing. Yeah, I do no clear. I don't have no favorite. All of them good. Okay, so let me make sure. This is my makeup bag that I toss in here. I normally would put this in the front. And this. And then I love that this has this here. So all I do is kind of like snap that like that. Well, and then remember, I have this part here, which is like a little mesh compartment that I unzip and would throw purses in, just like this. So I'm going to zip this up, close it up. Good. So I would just snap this like that, this like this, and like I said, this would be on my arm, and I would have this on my hip, or if it gets heavy, I just click it back on here. Now let me just show you quickly in five minutes what's all in this overnight three-day weekend tote, however you want to carry it. Call it. And I tell the women all the time, quit packing all that extra lingerie and all this cute stuff. It's a girl. We're going to Vegas. It's going to be my weekend. And he bought me. You're going to get naked. And you're even looking at that shit. That's just extra space <laughs> in your luggage. Save Less is room. more. Yeah. Save some room for what you might be bringing back. So as you can see, I just pulled my wallet out of this front space. I'm going to unsnap this. Okay. So you already saw me put my purses in here. Now, I would also be packing my laptop on the back here and a magazine the other stuff is already in here so this is my makeup and this is all i ever travel with and you can see all the stuff in it and i kept travel with a lot of travel size stuff i have everything i need even uh 
HD powder. In this one little thing, people be bringing too much shit. Curl and iron, you saw that. Pants. This is my compartment of technology stuff. So I have my earbuds. I have my marker pen. So I got to mark $100 bills, make sure they're not fake. And I got my B-flat uh, business card holder in there. My little knee brace. I always take this everywhere just in case my knees start acting up. And what else do I have here? A portable pack for my phone and a pen. I also have in here cords, two speakers, Let me just kind of show the people. My memory stick with all my music on it. My two little memory speakers. A booming system. Oh shit, now it ain't gonna work. <laughs> never the shit. That's what happens to the God damn it. And I want I that have, I want go. that to be a sound effect. B going, oh shit. Then you have my cords. I also have another pair of pants. I just want to make sure everybody see that I'm not my pants. I'm pulling all this stuff out of this little bag. Workout pants. Toiletries. And remember, if I was take this would normally be in my purse. Because you know, when you go through the airport, they'd be like, take your toiletries out. So you remember how I got all this stuff in last week. I would normally have this in my purse so I can just drop it right on the uh, the back, the little scanner thing with my phone. Got my bra and a shirt for the show. Shoes. And I normally would have this other backup pair of shoes in here. I forgot to throw these in here. Flats and some heels. And you know I got a shirt in here. And this also helps keep your shoes, keep the shape. So you don't have to worry about them getting all dented up. So I have a shirt and a pair of socks. You know I'm having time doing all this shit in the morning because I'm all this shit back. And in this shoe, I have a shirt for the stage. Some uh oh, and this is what I'd be doing with the end. When I cut up a t-shirt, if I cut the bottom off, I always keep the bottom part of a t-shirt and use it as a head wrap. Just you know I'm ghetto. Look, I do it just like this. No, oh, it works. Sure I'll do tap my hair down and I can That's effective. <laughs> so, I have a shirt. And two purses. All right, that's it. And then you saw all the stuff that I had in here that I put inside in my little pack, which was my uh, facial stuff, teas, my little book that I write material in, reading glasses. And I always keep an ink pen inside my reading glasses, my wallet. So, yes, that's how you can. Oh, I forgot it. Look at me. Look at my. This is how my office looks. And the next morning when I come down here and have to put all this shit back, I'll be like, this damn show. This is how my house is. This is my life. But I love it. So there you have it, Chris. That was my passion. Thank you. I hope people got something out of that. Oh, they loved it. So many nice uh, I hope comments. You learn how to use every space. Mm. And like I said, it helps to write down where you're going. I mean, not where you're going, but you know where you're going. But like what you want to wear, what you plan to do. And then you can switch things up because most people always take more than what they need. They don't even wear the shit and they throw it all around in the suitcase and forget what half the shit is in there. And then they be like, I didn't even bring the shorts. They go with this shirt. <clears throat> so I try to put my stuff together in the set, lay it out in terms of what I want to wear for that day. The next day when I get up, if I'm going down for breakfast and it's free breakfast, I'd be like, I ain't thinking about them people. I'm wearing my pajamas. They don't know me. I don't care about shit like that. I don't be trying to get a cute outfit on to right. go eat breakfast. When they serve a free breakfast, free breakfast is not for glamour. So <laughs> it's true, right? Like we are eating a we are eating a stale bagel. Please. Damn yeah. Holiday Inn Express. Right. Them little eggs in the pan. Yeah. Anybody being dressed, I go down there, hair wrapped up with my pajamas on and flip flops and bring the shit very right back to my room, eat and keep it moving. Well, we're keeping a tight show, and I'm going to stop for show. stop for a couple comments if you're ready. Yes, because I'd love to hear what people say, and I Ant hope they enjoy this. Antonia enjoyed it. Says remarkable. Thank you, B from F Smith Welch. 
Constance, giving you a thumbs up. Uh, B. Parker, thank you, B. Amazing talent for packing. C. Lynn Carriol, very good. Carriol, appropriate last name for this segment. Thank you, C. Lynn. Uh, Heather says, B. Flat, teach me how to pack for these short trips. We've got coming up two weddings for my niece and stepdaughter. Congratulations to them. Monica is uh, enjoying herself. Sierra is laughing. Uh, Daphne needs to get on the road with you so she can pa- learn how to pa- do this packing. Oh, yes. And she'll that overpack. Be- oh, no, ain't no such thing but overpacking with me. A uh, couple others, and we'll get it. Kathy says, next time I'm traveling, I'm saving the video to learn how to pack. That is oh, thank news you. you can use. And remember, next week in the segment, I'm doing the third segment on how to pack for a week for guys and see how Dennis was like, make sure you don't be showing all my good shit. I don't want everybody to see when I break out my new snip. Put... Hilarious. And he's I love really Dennis. more ridiculous than me when it comes to packing, which is crazy because his OCD is worse than mine. So the way he packs, he makes sure he wraps all his shoes in the bags so they don't touch nothing. I don't do all that. I don't care about my pajamas touching my shoes. I care about the clothes that I'm going to. I'll be like, I think about them dusty ass pajamas. I don't want my clothes to get dirty. So I don't be wrapping up my shoes. I stuff them. He stuffs his shoes, but he still wraps them. <laughs> How about this? Your girl, Carmel Brown, says she does pack too much. I think, Carmel, who was your guest, I said, let's be honest, Carmel, you probably bring in an entire showroom anywhere you no. go. She probably bring like seven pair of glasses, one for the day and one for the night. The ones at tent. That's for right. The day, night. Yeah. Stuff she I fly. don't even stuff I don't even understand. She fly. I'm sure she overpacks, but most people do. So yeah, the club. Okay. I don't. Shit, I can't do it. I can't afford it. Cause then you gotta get you gotta pay motherfuckers to carry your suitcase, give them an extra tip, mm. and then they be like, oh that bag that's gonna be sixty dollars. You got check shit. I'd be like sixty dollars. That's right. two minutes. Thank you. All right. Well, Chris, before we move on into the uh, irks and works, mm. really quick, and ask Chris it easy. You know I got to do some quick cash app dances. Oh, please. Love that. Oh, Lolo and Jamie and David. David Simone. That's new. Thank you. And wait a minute. I got to put my glasses on. La delay. La delay. Okay. They new. Shout out to La delay. La Delay, L A D Y L E E, and Ruth. That sound like oh, I'm looking at strong money too. That sound like you know they want to see the Jane. C T does. I believe Eric did earlier. Joy says uh, Rocket B. Chat alone. Put the chat on. Look at you bringing in the dollars, Ooh. dancing. Ooh. Mm. Cheer her on, throw her another buck. <laughs> throw her some oh. change if you want to see something strange, people. It's B flat. Lineage first. I want to see B flat get down to Atomic Dog by George Clinton. <laughs> we can't play that. We can't ah. play it or we would. Such a good oh, request. We can't play that. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, this is why I got a bad knee. This show and getting your day started. Well, and right. Yeah. But I think to... it's therapy. So it's like a it's like a double edged sword. I feel like it heals me and at the same time, I don't know. Right. I just got to keep doing it. <laughs> My knees don't hurt. They only hurt after I run or do something crazy I ain't supposed to be doing, like cutting the grass a lot and shit. But you ready for your for the irks and works? Oh, irk and work me. Oh, the irk is provided by me. I'm irked by this right here. Uh-oh. Y'all see this dude? Zero. Will you zero in on that, Grace, in the one uh, shot? Can there? you see that? Put it on the one shot. I want everybody to see the dude on Dark and Lovely. You see the dude? I'm pissed. How his ass get on this? box before me on the dark and lovely you see that i'm trying to get on this box don't none of these people use dark and lovely they go to the damn hairdresser and now they didn't put a dude on the damn box and i know he's about 25 years mm. younger than me. i've been using these perms since 1982 
when Nia Long got on the box in like 96 mm. and she didn't even use Dark and Lovely. I got to get on this perm box, so I'm irked by the dude getting on there before me. This is some bullshit. So the work What's is the work? Let, let all my, the B pack, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Be like, B flat need to be on the perm box. We use see. it every day. I'm gonna have to show my perm boxes every day. On the Let me damn see if Dark and Lovely has an Instagram. Oh yeah, they gonna have to get on the Dark and Lovely and say, "Get B flat on the box on the relaxer." Oh please, tell I'm me they have an Instagram. On at least every two weeks, I got to keep my edges tight. They've got eighty thousand. Yeah, Dark and Lovely on Instagram, oh, verified yeah. and everything. Yeah. Tag them. And, and be like, "Get B flat on the perm box." She's been using this since '82. Oh, that's great. We should mm -hmm. send them an email too, B. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, quick shout outs real fast. Uh, Baby Ruth Candy 85 do your packing methods work for sneakers and boots? Yes. And, and MM has shown up late to that. class. Well, see, I normally would wear my boots. It depends on, like, you know what? I'm going to do a winter packing when the winter comes around. I'm going to put that down. Because I'll normally have a pair in and I'll wear a pair of boots and I kind of scale things down because they take up more room. But it all depends on where I'm going. So I know how to pack. Believe me, I've been all over this world and had to pack for long trips, especially when I went to Australia. Shit, even when I was on the Germany tour, I was going like 12 days. And I only had that one bag. I don't be fucking around. I need my stuff. I can't afford for it to be lost. Right. Or, you know, come late. They got to bring it to me after the show. No, I need my shit now. And it just saves me money with checking bags. So, Chris, you ready for the Ask Chris Deasy? <sighs> of course. Hit the music. That's right. Oh, MM's been drying carpets. Damn. Oh. So yeah, definitely tag at dark and lovely on Instagram. At dark and lovely on Instagram or Facebook or anything. And tell them B flat sent you. Ask Chris Deasy, what a segment. Probably the most popular in the Denman household out of all the segments that you do. <laughs> I saw your mother following me now. Oh no. <laughs> On what? Yes. Yeah. On, <laughs> On Instagram? Yes. She's um, she's stealthy on there. Joanne. Joe. <laughs> Joni. Joni. Mm -hmm. I thought it said Joanne. No. I it's should've Joni. Mm-hmm. I am my glass. That's like saw, that's like <laughs> Sherry. Sherry, five years into knowing me, still call me Chris Denham here and there. Oh Lord, Chris, can you name three HBCUs? Please. There's one half a Go mile. On from, one half a mile from me, Harris Stowe. Okay. Yeah, that's half a mile from me, Grambling. Oh shit. That's right, Jackson State. Oh, oh, Chris, you named them like you've been down on the campus. Lincoln oh. in Jefferson City. Shout out to my friend Amanda. Yeah. Oh, Chris, you, you've you been on some of them campuses. Most white people be like, Howard, Spellman. And then Drake oh, talked about Drake, Drake talked about Howard. Oh. Chris, you named the ones that's in the back of town. That's right. <laughs> Hairstow in the back of town. Lincoln in the back of town. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh there's no, plenty, no, plenty, plenty more. It was plenty. I'm, but that was that came in from Beverly Vaughn on the yeah. ask. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. really good. Uh, so Jamie's gotta, mad I didn't say Hampton. Oh. But you but Chris, you you probably could name ten. Probably if I Good. But you don't have to, because yeah. we're keeping it tight show. Yeah, I probably could, but it's in here. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I, I always digress because you know shit flying around throws me off, and it's a little gnat flying around. Probably because I got these pineapples out. Uh, those 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 bugs are gonna get drunk off those pineapples. 
Um, I know we've got a few more. What else do we need to get to? We got to tell them about your shows, right? Yeah, because I don't have a holly hold them down. But for some strange reason, um, I don't know. We did show the flash rags, right? That's a thumbs up. No. From, that's a thumbs up from ASMR Grace. As Grace, because I don't think that we showed Brenda Miller's. I don't recall doing it. See, we was moving fast trying to keep. I want to show them really quick because I don't, and I wanted to show Lorray using my damn flash rag the next day in that restaurant. We got some other shout outs. I'll just give it. Uh, I'll say, uh, Weena said Florida, Florida A&M. Uh, I know about Florida A&M. That's where Roy, Roy Wood Jr. went. I think I performed at every HBCU imaginable. Even if they started a new one, I probably performed at that one. And, and I love performing at the Black School. It's so funny to see. If I was a parent, and I, you could be a fly on the wall. Oh, my God. When them kids active through school, it is amazing to me. I'm like, I did not act like this in college. They be cutting a motherfucking fool, Chris. Excuse me. They got Excuse after it. Friend. Oh, they, they cut up, especially at like the homecomings and stuff. And I used to go to all that stuff. It's just a different day and age. It's just a different kind of fun. I'm not into standing on cars and on hoods and jumping on, you know, dancing and all that. How's it go? You, How's it go? They be cutting up. They be all up on the cars and shit. <laughs> what? We be like, get your ass off my car. You ain't going to be jumping on my, didn't up my mama hood. You know oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble, by the way. In the chat, Latanya says, Chris, I know you did not forget your old Kim school. Of course not, Fisk. But we said I could name 10, but we don't have time yeah. tonight. Um, Do you think Grace could show my two flash rags? I knew I forgot something. See, Brenda sent those in. She got oh, the shirt. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I knew I forgot something. Brenda Miller, shout out to her flash rags and the shirt. And then, of course, I had to show LeRae bopping around New York City in my with my flash rag the next day. That's awesome. I thought I told her I said that night. I said LeRae, don't think I don't want my flash rag back. She talking about I got a booger on it. I said I don't give a damn. It can be washed. I want my rag back, LeRae. I know she hears me. And she country, she from Houston. She said, I'm saying her name right, Lil Ray. I was like, thank you. Because if I was here, if it, she was from New York, it'd probably be like Lil Ray or Lil Ray, uh, Lil Ray, uh, something like that. And they were like, you so country. It ain't like Lil Ray. Because you know we country, the Midwest twang. How, how do you say it? Lil Ray. But how, would, Lil how, do you Ray. Want, how do you want to say it? Lil Ray. <laughs> Like that, Lorray. Hey, Lorray. Yes. All right, Chris. My mm. two photos, and I just, you know what? I should have been posting this, and I really need to start tomorrow. That my Martha's Vineyard Comedy Festival, folks. They're offering a. I have a con a code because on August twenty seventh, they're going to air a special. And you can, they're going to be streaming it, and you can pay fifteen ninety nine to watch the whole festival because they're putting together clips from everybody that performs throughout the, the three weeks. Nice. And I got to po start posting the code because between now and August 5th, which is next week, you can get 10% off if you register early. What's the code? Watch the Shit, I don't know. I ain't got it in front of me. I'm going to actually put it on. That's what I'm saying. I'm Chris. I was trying to get so much done, and I had these shows. And Kim's uh, Kim's not scheduled, and I'm sure she'll find time. But uh, Sherry um, fomoed her into going, so she literally put it like as we were recording two funny mamas today. Kim put it. Kim's going and was not gonna. So Sherry and Kim will both be there. I know, and they're leaving on the day I get there. Well, I don't know about Kim. Kim may be there longer. She may be there oh. with you. Well, let me ask you this. Since I won't be able to do Tighten Up Tuesday that day, could we do it earlier? Like in the daytime on that Tuesday? Like, could I do it live or whatever from Martha's Vineyard? Whatever you want. You can do it live. You can pre-record. I don't like pre-record. It's not the same, Chris. I'd rather do it live and maybe just do like, even if we had a short show, I could do... I'll figure just it out. I'm pick, just pick a time, and that way we'll let people know in advance. And 
Let's do it. Yeah. I can do how I get things organized once I get situated in a room. Be flipping shit around. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, be, be here. While how, to, yeah, how, to, how to smoke weed in a rental property and not get in trouble. Oh, I got all that down, Pat. That's why I carry my spray. <laughs> so, yes, I'm so looking forward to this. Arkansas Pine Bluff, HBCU. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting. I'm looking forward to seeing my Soros and the Picassos. That's right. On the yes. 13th, you want me to tell them about it? You know, Lev Love's going to yes. be there. So I can in on the 11th, though. What? Yeah, that's right. Uh, get, get your tickets. Early, kicking it. I With tickets. the Picassos, get ready. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's going to be a good one. Frankie Beverly, Mays, B Flat, Pine Bluff Convention yeah. Center. That's going to be a great time. Yes, it is. I have a lot of radio shit to do, a lot of promo, but that's why I have to come in a couple of days early. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready. I'm, I'm not going to do too much because I do have to save my voice. But you know I'm hanging out with the Picasso. Well, no, I mean, kidding. why wouldn't you? It's a live show. Yeah. B's there. Fly. That's where Daphne should go. That's where Daph- Daphne needs to travel. Go to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. There's your exotic trip for the week. That's definitely a flight. That's a long drive from Dallas. <laughs> It did take 12 hours to get out of Texas. Ugh, it takes forever. Wow. I'm, I drove through Texarkana on the way back from Austin one time. Oof, it was a long drive. Good stuff. Well, yes, I'm definitely going to post my code if you pre-order to watch the special on August 27th. And Steve may extend it. I don't know, but it was only for like a week. He just gave me shit like last week. And I was like, damn, I need to post this. He's like, it ends August 5th. Hey. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm feeling these strawberries. I mean, these pineapples. Oh. <laughs> you just, your lips got a little heavy as you were saying oh. that. Oh, I the alcohol in them. It's oh, it makes me good. so happy. I mean, look, I do have to announce that, you know, July 31st, this Sunday, we have, I have my briefing bake. Oh, you were. It's just the vibe. The the July 31st, you're wanting to wish a happy birthday to my younger brother, David. Oh, yeah, I sure did. I sure forgot about that, Chris. <laughs> that was on my list. Mm. David, happy birthday. That's I got to right. meet David. I saw a picture of him. He's giant. But, yeah, you know I'm going to be meeting with the Picassos this Sunday. I mean, with the uh, Picasso t-shirt designers. People that's are like, I want to get in. No, that's just for me, Brandon, Kiki. Sophia, uh, Maya, Quincy. And that's oh, it. Goodness. Yeah. This Sunday. So I have to get that Zoom invite out. And we're doing it at eight o'clock and we're just gonna have fun. Because You do. I you put on you put on good good events. They're very uh very good time. Well, Chris, is this another tight show? Quite tight. Nine uh, twenty five uh Central Standard Time. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. I got ten twenty four. So well, you're, on the east, like, you're on the East Coast. True. I do appreciate it. I just I know you I'm don't happy. you don't always know where you're at. Right. You know or, or what, what or what planet you're on. That's why, because every day I'm in eternal bliss. I have to say that. You are Even like, and it's oh, it's obvious. I just love life and I'm just I'm thankful. I'm very grateful. I love everybody that supports me. I love all my new fans, all the people that I I was in, you know, they closed the bar down on us in Caroline's because we were in there and they were close up in there taking pictures. I was taking pictures and taking pictures and taking pictures. And I was like, I'm hungry. Let's go grab some food and let's just have a good time. And it was just great. I just heard a dude sing and I was like, let's go there. Shit, they got live music. We can sit outside because we was freezing in Caroline's. They had the, oh, they had the air on 40. I know they had it on 40. Is that what they had it on? They did the old old Letterman trick to keep everybody attentive. That shit was freezing and everybody, yes. So when we got out of there, we were like, we want to sit outside. We didn't want to be in any more air conditioning. So we sat outside and it was nice. It was great. I had a great time. I love, see, some stuff like that is just a memory Everything doesn't have those moments to me. Don't everything can't always be captured on like an Instagram and in a like that will always just like hanging out with Quince and just everybody. I'm gonna always remember that. 
And that's what I cherish the most. I ain't always about a picture or not. I don't. Shit. I don't mean it's to brag, but I think I came out of the uh, briefing bake the other day, and I think Kathy and I got pretty close. And sorry, B. That's all. Oh, big fan of Kathy. Well, that's what's up. Close that's how? Right. Close like what? As in close pals that she's no longer. She's not. A, she's a Cicasso now. Oh, I didn't know you had Cicassos. I forget you can't you can't play along with me. She, just, she'll throw a, a, she will throw a wrench into your stupid improv. And oh, and don't be th don't get me with the, the copyright and trademark infringement rights on the copyright. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're insane. You know I'll be bugging out. Oh my gosh! Hey, Din Jack's mother's seventy eighth birthday is Saturday the thirtieth. Couple more comments. Uh, I don't know what else. Oh, I'm gonna do a a, a Superman curl tutorial on my Instagram at Insta Denman after the show. If you want to do that, um, I believe I believe Carmel was looking to get her locks to do this, so I got her back. Anyone else? Quincy's a Cicasso. Oh, oh, um, oh shit. Fab Five Forty's a Cicasso. Well, we got a lot of Cicassos in the house. I don't know what you're gonna do. Chris. When he do drinks with the band and put the Cicasso over there. He oh. Chris D over here. Oh, I mean, uh, you want me to put Cicasso on my board over here? I can throw that on there for you, Chris. <laughs> I'm, trying to make a, I'm trying to make a C out of my curl. I am going to put DZ on my board. You know that, right? When I, put I love B -flat, it. Make it B flat and Chris DZ. <laughs> Chris, we're going to be the new Deces and Mero since they broke up. Cecil. Cecil. Cesus and Barrow. Booyah. B and DZ or B and D. Those shout guys, out. Those, shout out to them. I didn't pay attention to them too much, but boy, they created that. They, they, good for them. them. I met them in Montreal. They were so dope. I was like, heard they were good dudes. They or are. are good dudes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, B. Sad that broke up, but fuck it. Bigger, uh, bigger things on the way. Uh, shout out to Key. Shout out to Grace for uh, for speaking up on the show today. B, great show. Tight show. Next week, what do we have? Well, before I go out, we are having Pierre definitely next week because he is on set and he was so sweet. He called me uh, two days ago. He's like, B, I can't do it, but I promise you, I'm coming back. I will definitely be able to do it too. So I want everybody to see what I'm doing on my house. So we have to grab some stuff from this podcast because I'm going out with Lynette and Mark and Sherry and Clarissa. Tune in to Two Funny Mamas with Sherry and Kim on Thursday. It's another funny one. Oh, and thank you. The live Two Funny Mamas is over 30,000 views. So that means by the end of the year, it'll probably be like 100,000. So you guys are great. Be great show. See you next week. Oh, see you next week.